Meteorites are known as foreign rocks on our planet. They fall from the sky in various sizes and shapes to collide with our Earth. We often hear people say they've seen meteorites fall in front of them. The daily meteorite fall rate on Earth has been estimated at about 230 meteorites. This means that the annual ratio of meteorites falling on us equals 84,000 meteorites annually. Their weights range from a few simple grams to massive tons. Some tests to identify your stone. Feet. Sometimes the average person may confuse a meteorite stone that descended from the sky with an ordinary stone. And the one who is from the earth, However, there are some tests. Three days. We can perform it on any stone suspected to be a meteorite. Let's ascertain the truth while pointing out the necessity of conducting these comprehensive tests. Until we get to the final examination, things are slowed down. They examined the shape and appearance of the stone. Henry came Meteorites down. with a stony appearance and meteorites with a metallic appearance. We also find the mixed meteors, where we find it both stony and metallic. It's recognized that meteorites are usually heavier than ordinary rocks and stones in terms of weight. Weather conditions affect meteorites that fell long ago, more than a recent fall. We find the ancient glowing has changed its outer shell due to the erosion it was exposed to over time. Examine the stone's reaction to a magnet. It's known that meteorites generally contain iron. So we need to pass a magnet over it, and if it attracts it, it's a sign that it's not an ordinary rock. It might even be a meteorite. If it's not attracted to the magnet, it's most likely an earthly stone. Examining the impact of friction on the stone, we can perform this friction test by rubbing a piece of suspected meteorite with a piece of ceramics that is found in home floors. It left a somewhat color like a pencil this rock is a type of magnetite and it's a normal rock but it's attracted to magnets and if it leaves a color close to brown almost red then this stone is a type of hematite and it's an ordinary stone also attracted to the magnet if this stone leaves no trace it may be a meteorite however some types of meteorites may be affected or may leave a light gray color on the ceramic. Examine the stone through the shiller. Gently rub the piece with a cooler by melting a thin surface layer of this stone and we monitor it from all aspects. If we see the result of friction with some shiny and metallic particles in the stone, this is probably a meteorite. Examine the stone using nickel. Meteors of all kinds, whether they are made of stone or iron, are known to contain nickel. Therefore, a lion is placed. If this stone is a meteorite, then the meteorite Everything in it is related. turned pink as it is affected and reacts with this lion. If it doesn't color, it is undoubtedly nickel-free and is a regular stone. The video is over. We hope you have benefited. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share your comments with us.